In this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, we would like to show you a trick about entering a pocket using Volumill. As you can see here, we have a helix entry, but we would really rather pre-drill a hole in the optimum location so that we don't have to spend all this time helixing into the pocket and wearing out the bottom corners of our cutter. To do this, we're going to scoot the volume mill process down and bring a drill down above it in the process list. We are going to create a combined process now. We will select holes and let's get the proper feed and speed for this cutter in 1045 steel, which is Rockwell B85. And we're going to set the pre-drill height the same height as the bottom of the pocket. If you didn't catch that, we double click here, the bottom of the pocket parameter, and then we alt click the bottom of the pocket. That will drive the number from the bottom of the pocket here to the menu. Let's now go to the pre-mill tab and turn on entry. Entry will automatically work with volume mill to pre-drill a hole in the optimum start position. Auto Z will also drive the drill to the proper depth and we don't have to do it here in the process. We can also leave material on the bottom of the pocket. The max tool overlap would be used if we had multiple holes drilled in the pocket and we don't want them to overlap into each other. Let's now simply click on the solid model and click redo and wait for our toolpath. You can see our process manager down here is working. It is now done. Let's go back to our OpSim, slow our playback speed down, rewind and play, and we will have a pre-drilled hole. And instead of helixing into the pocket, now the end mill knows that it can drive straight in down to five thousandths above and then only use that small five thousandths helix. This Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, like all other tech tips, is designed to save you time and money. If you have any other questions about Gibbs Cam, please contact your local Gibbs Cam reseller.